To remove the headset, I've undone the headlamp, taken out the two long screws from underneath and pulled the top section up on the speedo cable. I'm now going to remove a black wire from the headlamp to the underside of the speedo and unscrew the speedo cable, then lift this section away. I was going to follow Sticky's advice and tape this to stop it falling down but someone's already preempted a tie wrap round. So speedo cable. If you don't have anything like that, tape it, stop it dropping down the shaft. The reason I entered this domain was to replace a badly frayed inner gear cable. This one. But you can't see where it feeds into the outer cable, hence the need to remove the headset. So I undone the large Allen screw, prized the slot open a little, tried to lift the headset off, wouldn't budge, tried the mallet from underneath either side, wouldn't budge, jammed the front wheel between my feet, tried twisting it, wouldn't budge, nowhere to lever it, went online, couldn't find the answer, so I decided to remove the horn casting, couldn't get the horn casting off, went with sticky suggestion, removed the horn casting and mudguard as one unit, that's when I discovered the horn casting has six fixing points, not four. I need to pay more attention. Anyway, from underneath there's still nowhere to leave her. So, what to do? So I lifted the cable up out of the way and removed the Allen screw 100%. Knocked a screwdriver into the slot and bingo! It flew off. We will do that now. So there you go. And she'll work it up, you know. I think I'll undo this nut and give a little bit of slack to that cable. There are three cables. Cable I replaced was the center one. I pulled the outer down. To get the old cable off, I cut the nipple off the top. Pulled out from the bottom end. I then fed the cable through from the top and out through here. Put some grease in a rag, greased it up, and fed it in from here. When you're feeding it in, you don't want to lose the outer cable inside the horn casting, or the horn casting will have to come off. Maybe no bad thing. I'm not going to repeat the process, but you can see how it's done. So I'm now going to Put the cable back on, work the cables up tight into this as I work the horn casting back on and take it from there. Six fixing points on the horn cast here, about here and here, both sides. There are also six fixing points on the mudguard, about here, at the top of the runner and here under the foot rubbers. It's real easy to learn the hard way.